Good day, tubers and groovers, and welcome to this edition of Take the Fear Out of the Gear with him, Charmley Warner. And him, Mr. Jason Bangers. Is your propeller head interface all sticky and tacky? <music> Problem we find now, Simon, with a lot of old but modern equipment, if you like, yeah. is the stuff they put on it. I don't know if it's a, if it's a coat of lacquer or what it is, but after several years, it goes into deterioration mode, and it's like bubble gum. It comes off like tarmac. I've got a pair of speakers that have gone like it. You can't touch them, but they sound amazing. And Simon has also got this. Um, what we're gonna do is take some photographs, and well, I'll ping them up now for you. So as you can see clearly on these photos, um, if you look down the bottom where it says headphone levels, you'll see where I've already had a go at cleaning it, and you can quite clearly see where I have taken off the um, horrible stuff. And you'll notice that the um, headphone level writing is still quite clear to see. Now, we was a bit worried about whether or not it would take off the writing, but we've tried it on a little piece, and actually that writing's raised, so I think that might be a bit of a job to come off. Yeah, obviously... Yeah. Jay's going to explain how to clean. We've, we've yeah. done the back as well. We'll get you a picture yeah. of that. Yeah, done the back. So you'll get a picture of that as well. But not completely done. We purposely left bits as you can see what it was like before and after. So if you've got this problem, I've heard of many ways. Put talcum powder on it. Yeah, well, that will stop it being sticky, but it'll, it will just be white. <laughs> it doesn't look very good. So anyway, my method, this is just my method. The way I choose to do it is good old methylated spirits and I'll tell you why I use meths is because it's very 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 gentle what you want is one of these lint free cloths put a good old dab of meths on there rub gently around the area do a little piece at a time because you'll never do the whole thing in one go you just won't because you get such a build up of this horrible black rubbery stuff that it will just it'll end up all over the place so you've got to do it very slowly piece by piece so yeah yeah and I suppose it, if like with this, like this with this interface, as Jay said, this propeller head's interface. Do do a bit on the side first, where there's no writing. Just have or yeah. a piece on the back. Try a test piece. A safety test. Yeah. As one would if one was dyeing one's hair. Not that I ever have, so I No, me neither. I see you dye yours a uh, nice grey sort of colour. Yeah, it's, 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 suits the, you, it's, sir. it's the new trend, isn't it? it grey is, hair. It suits you. So anyway, once that's in, and you can tell when it's coming off, because you'll see the black coming off on your lint cloth, right? When it's come off, let it sit for a little while, and then believe me, the best thing in the world, the best invention ever, a genuine chamois leather. This will blow your mind. If you've got a pair of glasses and you use special wipes to clean them, just buy a chamois leather and wipe them with that. How amazed would they be? Yeah, that's good stuff. This is the best. So then once that's done, wipe it with the chamois, and you will see it absolutely taking everything off and, and by then, there'd be probably nothing left on your chamois. I don't know how chamois levers work. I don't know why they're so fantastic. That's basically how you clean it and get rid of the sticky stuff. But I think now it's time for... It's that time. Chummy stats. It's that time again. It is that time again. It's been a while. So, yeah, this is a this is an interface by Propeller Heads. It's called The Balance. Have you any idea how old it is, dude? I think that has got to be oh, what a good, ten years old. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, two thousand and twelve. These came out roughly. It was bang on then. Yeah, oh, absolutely perfect. Uh, up. USB pad, so no adapter, just plug it in, powered by yeah. USB. Uh, there's no MIDI on it, so if you want a MIDI, you'd have to use the USB keyboard. Uh, what have you got on here? On the back, it's really quite good. You've got two mic inputs, uh, two guitar inputs, uh, you've got two line inputs, and you then you've got your output to your monitor so speakers. This is it as an audio interface, yeah? yeah? Yeah. And you've got your phantom pan by two switches here as well. And on the front, this is the headphone level. That's the main monitor level. That's your input level. And then you've got these selectors here, so you can switch between, you know, mic... Uh, line level, all different levels. And you've got this special meter button, so if you're using Reason, you can press that and a little sort of meter pops up on your screen, which is really cool. And it's got this little special feature. It's like an anti-clipping feature. 
So I think it will record like twice, one slightly lower, so there's no way oh, you can right. clip. Does a backup. Yeah, so you, mm. it gives you a slightly lower uh, level, so you, you won't clip. A bit like Zoom's new free floating recording thing, I think it's called. Yeah. Free floating. So it's quite, quite advanced for its time. And what was I going to say? It's not, it will go up to 96 kilohertz, 24 bit resolution on this. And then here we go, Mr. Bangers. How much do you reckon they cost originally? Does it look expensive or cheap? No, or? It, well, it's by propeller head, and that's probably going to be. Oh, yeah, if it was more than 200 quid, I'd be disappointed. So I'm going to say about 220, 230. 230. Amazingly, it was more than that. At yeah. the time, it was 379 pounds. Christ. Uh, which, considering you haven't got a MIDI interface built into it, it is quite expensive. Which is considerably well made. I mean, it's plastic, isn't it? It's not metal. There, That's definitely plastic. Yeah. But it's heavy. I mean, there's something in there that's quite heavy. Yeah, it's, it's a nice functional thing. Obviously, yeah. as we said earlier, they can go sticky. And with that in mind, does anybody know why they go sticky? Is it a, is it a lacquer covering or something? If anyone knows, please let us know in the box because we don't really know what it is. And one thing I forgot to say, which I just remembered. Ah, good. How much do you think you can buy one for now, oh, 10 years later? Good grief. I, I, I should say you, you've got to be able to pick them up for 70 quid, haven't you? 70, 80 pound? This one was 20 pounds plus postage. Oh, Obviously, I perfectly should, working. Yeah, it works yeah, perfectly. Obviously, yeah. because of the finish was deteriorating, maybe that's why it went so cheap. So I wonder if there's any out there now that haven't got that problem. Maybe it's a, maybe it's a thing that happens if it's in the sun or something. I don't know if it it's could left be. in the sun. There is another one on eBay at the moment, which we see if we can buy it. See, it's it's, it's uh, ending later today. If we can buy it, apparently it hasn't got this problem. So I'd be interested to com compare the two. But you, yeah. you can, you, like Jay says, less than a hundred. If it's got the finished problem, it's going to be a real bargain. So let me understand this correctly, right? It's an audio interface, so we can go into our computer, record straight into our doors using that, right? But yeah. can we use that as a controller on reason? To control the transports or anything? No. Play, stop, or... No, no, no. no it's literally just... It's just an input yeah, system, yeah? guitar, line, okay. mic. Just one more thing, quickly. Just, just one more thing. Uh, one thing. Because we ain't used Columbo in ages, so... No. <laughs> It just suddenly dawned on me. The software, yeah, we're talking about operating systems. Uh, it will work, as far as I know, sort of perfectly on Windows 7, 8, 8.1. It will work on Windows 10, but people have said it's a bit glitchy and they've had problems with it. So if you're thinking of picking one of these, one of these up and using Windows 10, maybe do a little bit of research beforehand. That was it. That's, that's what yeah, I forgot to mention. Yeah, that's a good point. Anyway, we hope you enjoyed the episode of Take the Fear Out of Gear with him, Chumley Warner. And him, Mr. Jason Bangers. Don't forget to hit the like. Subscribe. And please cling the bell so we can let you know what's happening without letting you know. We really appreciate your subscribers. Bless your heart. We'll see you again. All the best now.